This is Foundations of Math and Precalculus 10, Chapter 5.4, and we're going to be looking at factoring special trinomials. Recognizing certain patterns, such as these special trinomials, allows you to factor more quickly. And you can still use the regular methods, but it takes more time. Let's look at the difference of squares. What we're looking at is a difference of squares, so a squared minus b squared. So we're taking this square and taking away this square to get this area. We can do this by factoring, but let's look at it a geometric proof. So if we split up this area over here and take this and we're going to rotate it, over to here. So this is one, two, three, four, five squares, and it's four squares down. So this is four squares across and five squares down. So we're rotating it. So what is this length? Well, this length is four squares, so it's just B. And recall that this side is also B because it's a square. So this is the short side of this one. So that goes here. And this purple line is A minus B. So this side is A minus B. So now we're figuring out the area of this rectangle. Well, we have a squared minus b squared equals, remember it's this purple area, and we're getting this purple area. Now we can calculate this purple area just by using the formula of a rectangle. And this is a plus b, that's a plus b, this whole length, and this other length is a minus b. Okay, so anytime we see a squared minus b squared, we can just take the square root of the first one, that's a, plus square root of the second one. And it's the same thing over here, except there's a minus sign. And if we were to FOIL this, we would see a squared, that's first, outer is minus ab, inner is plus ab, and last is minus b squared. These two cancel out, and we get a squared minus b squared. And as the note says, it doesn't matter if a squared or b squared is actually a perfect square. We can still use the formula. So let's quickly factor these. The square root of 49 is 7. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of y squared is just y. We copy the same terms. We change the sign. And we're done. Okay, here we go. Square root of 5 is not a perfect square, so we just write square root 5. Square root of d squared is d plus square root of 7. 7 is not a perfect square, we just write square root. Square root of e squared is e. We have the same terms, square root 5, d, and we change it to a minus sign, and square root 7, e. So I hope you can see that that's fairly easy. Now, this formula does not work with a plus, okay? Because we're subtracting here. Plus is a whole different case. It's not the same type of trinomial. Okay, here we go. Square root 25 is 5. Square root x squared is x. Square root of 81 is 9. Square root of y squared is y. You can see that it's a lot easier to take the square root of variables than it is of constants. You just divide this number by 2. And that's plus 5x minus 9y. Square root of 4 is 2m plus n, 2m minus n, 
not a perfect square, so we use square root. M plus, not a perfect square again, square root 11, N. Square root 3, M minus square root 11, N. Now when you're doing the square root sign, make sure it's only for the number and not for the variable. Okay, so we don't have factoring for a squared plus b squared, but we do have a special factoring for a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, and that's just a plus b squared. And again, let's look at a geometric proof. We have a squared, so this is a, this is a, and we have b squared. This is b, this is b. So because it's a square, this is also a b, and this is also a b. So we can see that a plus b, which is this, times a plus b, so we're doing these, gives us an a squared, gives us a b squared, and it gives us two a b's. Okay, so what we need to notice is we take the square root of 4, that's 2, the square root of 9, that's 3. So we have 2ab, so that's 2 times 2 times 3. That's 12. 2 times 2 times 3. That's 12, and that matches this middle number. So that means we have 2x plus 3y squared. And you can check this by foiling that. Okay, this time we have 2 times 2 times 3 again, it's a negative on the inside, but that's okay because a negative times a negative gives us a positive, and we have this positive and this positive. So 2x minus 3y squared. Here we need the square root of 36, that's 6. We have the square root of 81, that's 9, and we have 2. So 6 times 9 is 54, and if we're doubling that, 5 becomes 10, 4 becomes 8, so that's good. So we have 6x, again we have plus and a plus, so this is a plus, and we don't have y's here, so that's okay, that's just plus 9 then, and squared. Again, we're looking for a 2, we see a 2, we see a 6, 2 times 2 is 4, times 6 is 24. So this is not a special equals 24, this is not a special trinomial. So what do we do? We don't give up, we use PFS. So our product is 4 times 36, that is 144. So we go ahead and look at the factors and the sum. One, again, positive, positive, 144, and 1. This gives us 145. Go up to 2, we got 72. And that's 74. You can see we're going to go a ways to get to 25. So you might want to just skip a few. So let's jump down to 6. 6 gives us 24. And that's 30. So we're getting closer. And the next one would be 8. Because 7 is not a factor. So 8, 144 divided by 8 gives us 18, and that's 26. We're getting closer. The next one is 9, and we can tell that it's divisible by 9 by adding up the sum of the digits. 1 plus 4 plus 4, that's 9. 
that means 144 is divisible by 9. And that gives us 16. And that gives us 25. So this is the line we want to use. So we have 4x squared. And we take the first number, 16, and add an x. We take 9, add an x, and plus 36. We're factoring the pairs. So we can take a 4x out. That leaves us with x plus 4. Here we can take a 9 out, and that leaves us with x plus 4. We have x plus 4, x plus 4. That means we can combine the monomials in front. 4x plus 9 times x plus 4. So the question is, is a squared minus b squared or a squared plus 2ab plus b squared easier to factor? Well, clearly this is easier. We don't have to do any checking. Now, time for some mathematics. 41 times 39. We can use the difference of squares. We can do this in our head. This is 40 plus 1 times 40 minus 1. This means it's 40 squared minus 1 squared. This is 1600 minus 1, and that's 1599. Here, we have 33 times 27. This is 30 plus 3 times 30 minus 3. Using the difference of squares, we get 30 squared minus 3 squared. This is 900 minus 9. This gives us 891. Hopefully you see the pattern here. So if the average of the two numbers is a multiple of 10, then we can use the difference of squares. It doesn't do us any good if the average doesn't end in a zero. So when we have a single digit ending with a zero, we just add two zeros, and then we can subtract the square of the second number, okay? So if we had something like 32 and times 30, this is no good. 31 squared minus one squared. I don't know what the square of 31 is. I certainly know what the square of 30 is. So you can only use this trick for special numbers. Okay, here we have 30 plus 7. 30 minus 7. So this is 30 squared minus 7 squared. This is 900 minus 49. And that's an easy subtraction. That's 851. So, if you have some free time, create some of your own examples and solve, and you will be a mathemagician. And that completes this lesson.